Since the disappointment of the last episode, we've won three straight games. But we now face Milan again, this time in our backyard. Hello and welcome to Club 7, episode 13 of The Pilgrimage. My name is Jamie. Coming up on today's episode, as I said in the introduction, we've got the uh, home game in the Champions League against Milan, and then we're at home to Chelsea in the Premier League. So let's get straight into the Milan game, and I'll show you the uh, team for that one. And it is... Below in goal, back four of Murphy, Ampadu, Skeller and Tommy Asu. Illich at the base of midfield, Guest and Verheyen ahead of him. Bennett on the left, Kareev on the right, Joseph up front. Let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. OK, the assistant manager is recommending if you carry your last performance into this match, we'll do well. I think that's entirely reasonable, so we'll outstretch the arms and go with that. And let's go into the tunnel. So both teams carry some good recent form into this match. How confident are you? Big challenge, but hopefully one we're up for. Do you think the first goal will be crucial? Uh, scoring first matters. How are you approaching the task of breaching the Champions League's best defence? We have to try and find and expose their weaknesses. They exist, so it's up to us to make the most of them. Absolutely. So let's get straight into the match, kick things off. And I'll just very quickly check that all the settings are correct. They're not. So we'll just drop the uh, speed down very quickly. No highlights as of yet. We are, what, four minutes in. And we've had the first shot, not on target or highlight worthy. Two shots inside the first 10 minutes, neither of them highlight worthy or on target. So let's uh, hit them with a demand more as we get the first highlight. Although it is a Milan highlight and they have taken the lead. It's Arsenal nil, Milan one with 12 minutes gone, not the start we had in mind. So a demand more is absolutely needed now. And that was Milan's first shot as well. So we've now had four shots, failed to hit the target with any of them. Although we do hit the target with our fifth shot, we still haven't had a highlight for ourselves yet. And we remain one nil down with half an hour gone. So Milan will feel very comfortable at this stage, although we now do have a highlight. Illich with the ball in, and Kareev is there from the knockdown to put it in the back of the net. It is 1-1, although there is an appeal for offside. It's being reviewed by VAR, and the goal has been disallowed. We remain 1-0 down. Let's have a look and see how tight it was. He is offside, sadly. And we've now had more shots, more shots on target and a vastly superior uh, XG. But um, we remain 1-0 down with 39 minutes gone. And it's difficult to see why we're losing this, to be honest. So, half time coming up, two minutes added time, and there it is, half time, Arsenal nil, Milan one. Feel a great deal of sympathy for the lads. Um, so we'll pump the fists, fans expect to win, and let's uh, have a look for where we could make a change. Nathan Bennett is nervous, so let's get him off and bring on Emil Smith-Rowe. So that's a good swap. And at the back, Ethan Ampadu is also nervous. So we'll bring on Diaz. 
and that will do for now. I suspect the third and final change will be at right back with uh, Tommy Asu starting to struggle already. So let's demand more. I'm not going to go attacking, not against Milan, it's too risky. Uh, Theo from Milan to Brahim Diaz. It's played back to Diaz. Kumbula into Vitinha. Kumbula to Bongazoni. Leal plays it through, but Murphy gets it back. Bilo to Smith Rowe. Vitinha to Diaz. Uh, Vitasek down the right from Milan. Guest wins it back, finds Bilo. We go to the right this time. Tommy Asu to Verheyen. It's out to Guest. Joseph Illich with the ball over the top for Kareev. Kareev with the shot. And it is a corner. And it'll be an in-swinger from Smith Rowe. Zgella gets right underneath the uh, header. It's over the crossbar and the highlight comes to an end. We've been massively better than uh, Milan, but uh, nothing to show for it. I'm going to make the final change anyway. We'll bring on um, Funchal and then we'll move Zgella over to right back. Um, so that's fine and the highlight I'm not sure what happened I was making a sub so it's 65 minutes gone still 1-0 to Milan let's demand more and we might as well go attacking we've got absolutely nothing to lose at this stage into the last 20 minutes we've used all our subs up so there's literally nothing else we can do apart from demand more and go attacking which we've already done and it's Milan on the attack again Vitasek to Franceschini Vitasek's cross Bilo comes out and claims it and we're looking for Bilo to launch an attack he goes down the uh, middle, Vitasek's under it, Bongas only to Vitinha, Franceschini, but Funchal intercepts for Hayen, to Illich, to Diaz, to Guest, to the left and Murphy, who plays it down the line for Smith Rowe, Smith Rowe with the ball in, and Kareev's header is wide, uh, into the last 10 minutes now, and still 1-0 down. Let's demand more. Going attacking hasn't helped. Let's go back to positive. Not balanced. We'll go positive. And it's cleared. Into the last five minutes. I cannot believe on an XG of 2.51. We haven't scored yet. Illich to Zgella. Into Kareev. And the chance goes begging again. Unbelievable. 2.66 and we still haven't scored. 26 shots, 6 on target. To their 4 shots and 2 on target. And we've ended up losing 1-0. And that's it confirmed. Arsenal 0, Milan 1. I cannot believe we've lost this. I'll be back in a moment with the second match of today's episode. Okay, time now for the second match of today's episode as we face a home Premier League game against Chelsea. And we've had to make a few changes for this one. So the team is Bilo in goal, a back four of Murphy, Mepham, Diaz and Tomiyasu. It's Funchal at the base of midfield, Guest and Breton ahead of him, Bennett on the left, Musa on the right, Patrick up front. So let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, the assistant is recommending the media have given you a lot of credit. Go out there and put on a worthy display. Um, I don't know. Um, I think this is a pretty closely fought rivalry. Play for the fans and they'll give us a boost is probably a better option. 
So let's pump the fists and go with that. And let's go into the tunnel. Um, what's the secret behind a good home record? Uh, the fans. Uh, scoring goals is always fun. Um, all, uh, these are the f occasions we live for as fans, players and managers. Okay, let's get into the match and see if we can uh, put things right and get a win against Chelsea. It's so tight at the top. A win would be massive. A defeat would be not disastrous, but uh, certainly costly. Tommy Asu down the right, crosses it in. Patrick doesn't get there. And the highlight comes to an end. At the moment, if we were to get um, a win, it would be enough to take us to the top of the table and that will remain the case as long as Liverpool don't go ahead against Brentford at the moment they're not with 22 minutes gone it's still nil-nil in both our games let's um, encourage the lads that's gone down well. Lots of green faces down there. So always a good sign in this environment anyway. Okay, we're down to fourth in the league. Uh, Manchester City have taken the lead. Um, Chelsea have a corner, which is, oh, it's a penalty. It is a penalty. There's no doubt. I've never seen these not given. And it is, it's given. 38 minutes gone. And who's taking the penalty for Chelsea? It is Mason Mount. And he's there to uh, to bury the chance. And that's his fifth of the season. It's Arsenal nil, Chelsea one. So we're gonna go attack him. We're gonna demand more. See if we can get back into the game. It's Murphy with the throw to Funchal, to Breton into Guest. Funchal comes forward, loses it. James plays it to Cox. Funchal wins it back, looking for a runner, doesn't find one. And although Guest wins it back, Mepham to Diaz. Breton to Funchal, Breton with the ball forward. Fafana wins it. Uh, Mount has it back for Chelsea, plays it forward. Cox back to uh, Villa. Uh, Chelsea are playing some beautiful football at the moment. And they have got a second goal. And uh, to be honest, that is probably going to be game over. I don't see us coming back from that. Amagan Karaman with the second goal for Chelsea gives them a half time lead of two goals to nil so we're going to go in and blast the lads uh, thrash the arms um, no excuse in that first half performance so we're going to need to make a couple of changes I think and I think probably the two lads uh, with an aggressive mentality need to come off so Kareev can come on on the right wing and Funchal can come off for Illich and I'm thinking no we won't make three changes at half time we've got uh, Tommy Asu who is struggling and he isn't the only one. Bennett's having a shocker. Patrick isn't playing well. I need Tommy Asu to last as long as possible, but uh, it's not going to be that much longer, I don't think. Uh, Diaz to Illich to Breton Illich. It's now with Guest, who finds Mepham. Plays it to the left, and Bennett back to Murphy. He plays it forward, but Patrick is nowhere near that. Although 
He makes the keeper rush his clearance. Tommy Asu brings it forward down the right for Arsenal. Kareev to Tommy Asu, who loses it. Karaman, the Chelsea keeper, clears it. Mappen picks it up. Illich to Guest to Bennett. Into Patrick, who plays it forward. Kareev rounds the keeper and gets one back for Arsenal. Can we uh, take advantage of the fact we've got 40 minutes left to try and uh, see this uh, to a conclusion? Bennett with the ball in, it's off the crossbar. And Chelsea get away with that, scramble it clear. Demir to Pereira, the highlight comes to an end. I am going to take Tommy Asu off and we'll bring on Zgella. I can't risk him uh, not seeing out the match, so we've had to make that change. Uh, Demir with the ball in and Cox, Matt Cox makes it Arsenal 1, Chelsea 3 and that surely is game over even though there's more than half an hour to play uh, we're going to demand more it's going to take some recovering from this we're down to sixth in the league although we do have a corner it's Bennett with the in swinger and guest at the far post Puts it in the back of the net. The referee is reviewing this with VAR. And the goal's been given. It is Arsenal 2, Chelsea 3. We're back in it. Still half an hour to go. So let's demand more again. And that has pleased the lads. So that's good. Into the last 20 minutes... If we could get one more goal, that would at least give us a point, which would be an okay result. Not the best. A lot better than the uh, defeat we're currently on for. And would take us back above Chelsea as well. Into the last 10 minutes. Demand more. We'll stay on attacking. We deserve a draw out of this. I can't believe we're going to lose both games despite being the better team in both of them. Uh, Breton collects this one, plays it to Illich, Skeller to Breton, Illich lifts it over the top for Skeller and it is just wide. We've blown a really massive chance there to get an equaliser. I don't think we'll get any more chances into the final minute of stoppage time. And that is full time. It ends Arsenal 2, Chelsea 3. So yet again, we've lost both matches of an episode. I'll be back in a moment with the league table and to tell you what's coming up on the next one. OK, time now to take a look at the league table. And as you can see, that latest defeat has seen us fall down to sixth in the league with uh, six wins from 11 games, 21 points on the board, four points adrift of leaders Liverpool. And uh, let's have a look at what is coming up on the next episode. And I'm only going to play one match off camera. So we'll play the Leicester game off camera and I'll bring you back for the home Champions League game against Zenit and the home Premier League game against Nottingham Forest. So if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.